Okay, so very simple. That means you have to do something. You don't repeat, and there's a time limit, and you need to have results. Make sure you measure its performance. Mm -hmm. Next, how do you know that is a project? So, what are the major characteristics of a project? So, if a the project, that means you must have all these characteristics. First thing, you must have a objective. You must have at least one objective why you want to carry out that project. It has a defined lifespan with a beginning and an end. That means there's a starting point and there's an ending time. Okay, it requires across the organizational partic participation. That means it involves the company, the different departments, people from marketing, from the sales, R and D. You know all the different departments they are involved in this project. It involves doing something never been done before. So that means remember it's non-routine. That means you do it only once. Has specific time, cost, and performance requirements. So every project you have to define how much time given to carry out the project, how much money that's a budget given, and then in the end, what kind of thing you have to achieve or you have to produce, and then meet the certain quality that you have to set. Okay, so you must have all the characteristics. Then it's only called a project. So Doctor, next, uh, yes. I'm sorry, but I can't huh? see the slides. I can just see your. Um, your Microsoft Teams that page. The others can see, right? Uh, no, oh, I also no, can no, see. No, no. We, we can only see the Microsoft Teams yeah, interface. Ah, uh, yes. None of you can see I the can't, slides. I can't see the slides too. Yes, uh, yeah, I, I can see the slides too. That's we very can. strange. Some can see some. I tell you what, why not you just uh, lock out and then log in again and see whether you can see? Because if, if some can see, some cannot see, that means it could be a problem from some of your side. Uh, so you we need to leave the meeting and come again? Ah, yes. You, you lock out and then come in again and see whether you can see this light. Right. If it cannot, you let me know. Okay. Uh, okay. okay. Can you see some? Uh, I, I can see some, 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 some are coming out that uh, there's no, you know, the screen. And then I, I just, I just assign. We can see, we can see the, like the Microsoft team page and the cursor of the, of the mouse. Uh -huh. I don't think yeah. anyone can see your slides, doctor. No, no, no. There's some, some saying that you can see my slide. Is there anyone who can see the slides? Anyone can see my slide or not? No, no, we no. can't see your slide. Huh? Cannot, no, can, cannot, 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 cannot. You just cannot. can see your Microsoft team. No Still one can. can. Yes, yes, you okay. cannot see. Cannot, can, cannot see. Okay, okay, okay. Let, 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 let me, let me try to, to, yes. to do something again. None of you can see. Just now somebody say you can see, already. Cannot, cannot, not do. Okay, okay, I'll try again. Cannot, not this time. Can or cannot? Can, can already. Can, can. Can, can. Okay. 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 Uh, yes. Can Thank you. 
Nampring aku nampring. Uh, is doctor supposed to say anything? Because I think she's muted, right? Yeah, she's muted. Hello? Hello? I, I don't know, okay. Um, doctor, you're muted. Yeah. Doctor, you mute your mic. Doctor, doctor, we can't hear you. Doctor, we can't hear your voice, doctor. Uh, doctor, you you muted. I think someone on the team muted you. Okay, is that okay now? Yes, yes, we yeah, can yeah. Hear. yes, okay it's now. okay, right? Yes, it's okay now. now. We can we can see. Can you see the slides. Okay. Yes. <laughs> And the audio. <laughs> Sorry, okay. <laughs> okay. <laughs> okay. So can understand the definition for project, definition for program, the differences, okay, right? And the example of project and program. Okay now? Okay. Is that okay? And okay. anyone okay. cannot see? Okay. Yeah. Okay. okay. Sorry, yeah, uh, because the first lecture <laughs> always is a bit problem, okay. Okay, next, uh, let's go on to the next slide. Okay, comparison of routine work with projects. So just now I mentioned, a project is non-routine. So you must know how to differentiate which one is you do it every day, then it cannot classify as project. Which one is you only do it once, then you can classify as projects. So for example, examples of this routine and repetitive work. So taking class notes, it's just like now you're attending my lecture. So you're taking class notes. You're doing this every day and for all the courses. So this one is cannot call it a project. This is called the routine repetitive work. So for example, the projects, if you're writing a, the term paper, writing do a particular research paper and it's carried out throughout the whole semester, then it's known as a project. Okay, so you know the difference between the routine and the project. So next is the daily entering sales with the receipts into the accounting ledger. So this is a staff working every day entering all this uh, sales receipt. So this is not a project. This one is repetitive work. Every day do the same thing. So you don't repeat. You see, if repeat, then it's not called a project. So but setting up a sales kiosk for a professional accounting meeting, then this setting up this kiosk is only do it once. So this is known as a project. So responding to a supply chain request. So every day you're answering questions about supply chain. So that is routine, repetitive work. So but developing a supply chain information system, you're developing a system to uh, support this supply chain. Uh, then that is a project because you do it, the development only once. So practicing skills on the piano. Every day you practice how to play the piano. So that is repetitive work. It's not, cannot call it a project. But if you're writing a new piano piece, then you compose a song. Uh, that is a project. So routine manufacture of an Apple iPod. So in the factory, everyday manufacturing. Okay, that is a routine repetitive work. So cannot classify as project. But designing an iPod that is approximately 2 by 4 inches, interface with PC and stores 10,000 songs. So that is one times work that is known as project. So you must know how to differentiate work which are known as routine repetitive work and those that can classify as projects. Okay, any question? Okay, now question. Now test your understanding. So are these projects or programs? So currently, you know this uh, COVID-19. So everyone, a lot of countries now still busy trying to find a vaccine. So this is a project or a program. And also there are companies in Malaysia, like Hoa, Genting, try to link up with all the industry, people that in the from the medical side, okay? the pharmacologist, those side to come up a vaccine also. So this kind of things is known as projects or programs. Project or programs? What's the answer? Project. Project. Anyone say it's program? No, huh? All say project, right? Okay, so it's very clear. Because this come up with it's a project that want to come up with a vaccine to solve, to kill this virus. Okay, so this is project. Okay, what about uh, this one? Okay, next one. 
So see, you can see this one is, um, you have this Sukan C, you know, this 2017, which is in Malaysia. 2015 is in Singapore, it was in Singapore. And then the 2019 was held in Philippines. And also the Olympic Games, okay? So Olympic in 2008 in Beijing, then the London 2012, and then the Rio 2016. So all these are projects or programs. Program. Yeah, programs. Program, program. Yes, program. you can see there are programs because within this, there are many projects. So for example, in the Beijing 2008, so they have to build uh, the bird's nest, the stadium for the opening ceremony. So they have projects to design the mascot. They have the project to design the metals. They have the project to organize the opening and the closing ceremony. So you can see within this Olympic game itself, the goal is to organize Olympic game. There are many, many different projects, but they are trying to achieve the same goal. Okay. So this one is an example for the London Olympic 2012. And this one is the Rio Olympic 2016. Unfortunately, we cannot have the Olympic this year. Okay. Okay. So next, what about this one? Project or program? Program. Project. Project. Okay. Some say program, some say project. So it should be project or program. Who, who say it's program? Why you say it's program? Uh, I, I said it. I think it's not both. Sorry, I, I cannot hear. You. Can you speak a bit louder? I think it's not. It's not. It's, it is not a project or not a program. Then it's what? <laughs> it is just an, an event maybe oh no 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 remember they announced when is the going to be the wedding and then there's a preparation you know do you know about this yeah. you know they have to invite all the guests you know even our our the, the former Agong who attended uh I think he, huh sorry program or project program no. Program, program. program. Why is a program? Why is a program? Yeah, it's a project. It is only a project. So the, all the preparation is only for the wedding. Okay. So preparing wedding, invitation, all kinds of things. Uh, I don't know because I have saw one documentary about this wedding, you know. I don't know whether you people have seen this. Uh, everything about the preparation for this wedding. So it should be a project. Same thing with this one. This one is a Japanese divorce ceremony. So it's a project or a program? Project. 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 This project. is also project. a project. It's just for the project. divorce project. ceremony. Project. Yeah, because project. There's, a time. there's a starting and the ending. You see, there's a, uh, how to define the, this project or program. You just go through the characteristics in the lecture notes. You follow all this, and if they fulfill all this, the characteristics of project, then it is a project. So if it is inside there, they involve many, many different things, different projects going on, then it becomes a program. Can you see the difference now? It's just like you see, if you see Olympic, inside they got different projects, they are doing different things. You see the building of the bird's nest is a stadium, right? So the design of metal is another different type of project, but the, it's uh, trying to achieve the same goal. But this one, whatever organized here, it's just about the divorce. Uh, whatever organized is about the wedding. So there's no other different thing other than doing something else different. You see, the, the nature of the project, uh, whatever they do, if everything they do inside there is all the same, then it's just a project. But within the program itself, it got different type of projects. You see, the nature of project they varies. You understand? So if you see the different, then you know how to differentiate whether this is a project or this is a program. Okay, understand? Okay, next one. Pro project or program? Project. It's very obvious project. project because they have to project. plan okay, when to rob, where to rob. <laughs> okay, you see, so this, if you see, it meet all the characteristics of a project, then this is known as classified as a project and not a program. Okay, okay, next, what about this? So, this one is the launching, you know, uh, they, they built these satellites, okay. Uh, to keep track of the weather tracking satellites that they launch, you know, from time to time if you visit the website. So this one is called a project or a program? Program. 
project. Yes. Program. Project. No, no, it's not project. It's program. Because first, you have to build the satellite. Building satellite, you see this one, this diagram shows all the building of satellite is very complicated. Then the launching itself is another different things, okay? So you got many, many different type of project. You have to plan everything, when to launch and so on. You see the manpower and resources, everything. But they are doing the different thing, but uh, are trying to achieve the goal, which is to launch the satellite and to go and capture this weather forecasting. You see or not? So if you're interested, you can go and click at this link and then you can watch a video which shows about this uh, satellite, how they want to capture the data about the weather, you know, the surrounding that in this world, and they have this big data, and from there they go and analyze the forecast. Uh, when is the tornado going to happen so that they can do some kind of precautions? That's why now uh, we are very concerned about uh, our environment and the ice are melting and so on. You see, so a lot of projects are now related to green technology. So this is a program and it's not a project because there are many things involved. Okay. So anyone can give me just uh, any three of you, give me, name me a project, and then you provide justification that you say this is a project. Any three of you. Anyone? Uh, the design, designing of uh, software is a pro project. Just the designing? And the, the the making of the whole software. Uh, no, uh, the software is meant for what? what? What kind of system is it? Let's say for say, student management information system, and then that is a project. So what, what kind of system you are building? Uh, database. Uh, database for what? Managing what? Oh, managing uh, 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 <laughs> this shop. Let's, let's uh, say the, the online, the online now e-commerce, right? Yeah, e-commerce. Yeah, you have to mention that uh, the the uh, that uh, development of an e-commerce system and uh, that is a project. But if you say just the design, uh, that is not a complete project. It's only a very small part of the project. You understand? Oh, okay. Uh, you, you need to tell me it's the whole thing, okay? But you're telling me just the design, only a small part, very small part of the project itself, okay? A component of the project, but not the complete project, okay? Uh, can I have right. two more students? Think of something very big. Anyone? Uh, give projects. Uh, yes. Which one? Uh, in Malaysia. Uh, okay. Can think game. Uh, uh, yes. Game development. Yes. The game is uh, for what? For casual entertainment. Yes. Yes. You you developing okay. a game. Uh, that is considered a project for entertainment use. Okay. Yeah. Yes. Okay. One more. The uh, building of the East Coast Rail System in Malaysia. Ah, yes, very good. That, that is a huge track. Okay, so that is very huge. Okay, ah, so now you start to understand how to define a project, how to differentiate project and programs. Okay, so all clear? Okay, yeah. So next we move on, the project life cycle. So you are going to learn from this course and after that you are going to carry out a project which I'm going to assign to you. Uh, actually, I assign the, each group uh, one project for all groups, uh, students from the same group. Uh, okay, All same, all you doing the same one because of this COVID-19, it's very difficult for me to uh, guide you if everyone, uh, all the teams doing all the different projects is very time consuming and I cannot see you personally, it's very difficult to guide. So I decided to have one project, but for the whole group, same group of students are doing the same project. Okay, but of course you will come up with different design and so on. So that depends on your creativity, uh, creativity among yourself and then how good you are. Okay, so now you look at this uh, project life cycle. When you carry out a project, you have the different level of effort you have to put in throughout the life cycle of this, uh, car carry out this project, which you have the starting time, you have the ending time, and it covers this defining stage, planning, executing, and delivering. You're going to go through all this when you carry out the project. So later you will come to defining. You will define the goals of your project. 
you define the specification for your project, what are the tasks you need to carry out for your project, and responsibility, who will be assigned the responsibility to carry out the task. So after you finish defining stage, then you move on to the planning phase. So the planning phase will cover scheduling. You will schedule which task, when is the starting, when is the ending, the budget, how much money you need to allocate for each of these phases here, and then resources, what are the materials, equipment needed to carry out the project, and risk. So every project there's a risk, that means there's something happens, an uh, unexpected incident that may affect the progress of the project. Uh, and also like uh, staffing, you see, who are the right people to assign to a particular task? Who are need to be sent for training first? So next, after you finish the planning phase, you move on to executing. So executing, you will have to uh, monitor the progress of your project. You have to keep track of the status. So you need to produce status reports. And then as you go along, there are always changes going on. So you have to manage change. Next, you must have quality. You monitor what kind of outcome you have to produce. So if you're developing a system and you require to develop 10 modules, so to this, when you monitor, you see to what extent, how many modules have you developed? And then are all these modules are error-free or not? So you have quality control. So next, lastly, you have the forecasting. So you're halfway through, you want to monitor whether you're able to meet the deadline, the deadline of the project and when you can deliver. So if halfway through after certain uh, months, okay, let's say this is a, a one-year project, let's say after six months, you try to predict whether you're able to meet the deadline. So if you cannot, then you try to forecast well, when will be the final date you can deliver and how long you're going to delay the project. And next, you will come to delivery. So when it comes to delivery, then you are going to deliver the product or your service to the customer. And then you may have to train the customer how to use your system. And then you have to transfer. You see, you produce user manual and so on. You give all this document you pass to the end users for their reference. And later, you also, since your project is finishing, then all the people, resources in your team, okay, equipment that you use, you don't need to use anymore. You release these resources you give to other projects to use. So same thing, you release the staff and this uh, staff is no more with this project because it's ending. Then the staff will be assigned another new project. And also every project, you, I'm sure you will make some mistakes. So this is known as lessons learned. So that means from doing this project, what kind of mistake have you made? And you will document it so that it become a reference for other people in future, if anyone doing the project that is similar to your project, they can use this as a guide and they try to avoid the mistake that you make during this project. Okay, so you'll go through all this uh, project life cycle, which you're going to learn in this course. And you can see the graph also show you the level of effort. That means how much effort, the time that you need to put in for defining stage planning. You can see executing is the highest. You take more efforts than the others and also the delivery. Okay, so this is how the graph shows. Okay, any question? Okay, next, the challenge of project management. Okay, so in a project, definitely the leader is known as the project manager. So the project manager, what is this person going to do? Manages temporarily non-repetitive activities and frequently acts independently of the normal, of the formal organization. So you see, you need a leader and leader of this project is known as the project manager. So just now we given the definition of project is non-repetitive. So this manager is going to manage all this. This is a project. It's just one time project. You finish it after that, you're not going to monitor this project anymore. So basically project manager going to Marshall's resources for the project is going to allocate and design. So uh, direct who is going to do what and how to allocate resources and equipment and so on. Okay, how to handle all this that you require to carry out the project is linked directly to the customer interface because project manager going to get the requirements for the customer. So has to interface, talk to, to the customer, get the requirement and then come back, tell the team what they are supposed to develop or what kind of service they need to provide. So next, it provides direction, coordination and integration to the project team. See, you guide uh, all the staff member from different departments, tell them what you're going to do and who is going to do what, when is your task going to start, when your task going to finish and after that you pass to so and so. Okay, so you have to give the direction to all the staff and coordinate them and integrate the project team. So it's responsible for performance and success of the project. So you can see if the project fail, that means is this project, this project manager fail. Okay, so if the project is a success, is it the project manager's success or is it a team success? 
if a project is success, in your opinion, is it a team success or is it the project manager's success? Team, 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 both, team, both, team, both, team. both, team. both. Uh, some say team, some say both. The answer is team. Okay. So when there's a success, the project manager cannot claim that it's his or her own success. You have to say this is this is a team success and not his or her own success. But when a project fails, then that is the project manager's failure. Okay? Cannot blame the team. You understand? <laughs> okay? So you take note. Uh, when fail, the project mm -hmm. manager is the one responsible. Because you are the leader. You understand? But if success, you cannot claim that that is your own success. Because if you don't have a team, you don't have members to help you, you cannot get the success. Am I right? Okay, understand now? Uh, huh? Yeah, so yeah. make sure yes. don't claim the successor. You see, when the team is, you completed project successfully, that's why in this project report, you need to acknowledge your team members. Okay, the cooperation from each one, the contribution for all the team members. Otherwise, you cannot get to the success point. So success is team, but failure is one person. It's the project manager. Okay, understand now? Okay, so you must induce the right people at the right time to address the right issues and make the right decisions, see? So that's why project manager, you're the leader. You're responsible. Anything fail, you're responsible. You know you are assigning who to do what task and that is the right person supposed to carry out the right, the, the person can carry out the task and not assign someone who cannot do the task. Then it will lead to project failure. So the decision making by a project manager is very important. So next, okay, the importance of project management. So today, you, you must know project management is very important. And you are applying even project management in your managing your, your course, your study. So that towards the end of your uh, three and a half years program, you are going to get your degree, right? So you are study for a program, bachelor of computer science and then major in whatever area that or discipline that you are taking. So you are actually currently, you are handling a project which is your own study. You understand? So here, the importance of this project management, that what are the factors that leading to this increased use of project management? Everywhere we are using it and every day we are using it. So I'm not sure whether you realize it or not. So the first point is, the first factor is the compression of the product life cycle. So remember today's is very competitive. The time to market for new products with short life cycles increasingly important. A six-month project delay can result in a 33% loss in product revenue share. So you can see if a company producing, you see like the, especially, you know, the uh, IT side or the mobile phone. You see the mobile phone, they come out so fast. So if one company come out a mobile phone and then you are six months later than another company because the one who release first, they will get the business, you see. So let's say the iPhone, you see people go and queue up and then go and buy an iPhone when they launch a new phone. Okay, I, I'm not sure whether you people do that. Go and have long queue, you know, uh, from the midnight, then you start queuing up, go and get a new phone. So once you bought the phone already, and let's say uh, later another uh, company going to produce another phone. So do you think the one that already bought the phone going to buy your phone? Provided you got money, right? You got no money, then people already bought the one phone. Unless they got a lot of money, they can buy a second phone. So that's why if any delay in releasing your product, then you are going to incur a 33% loss if you're six months behind time. Okay, so you see the point. So you need to manage and come up with the product fast. But another point is if you come up fast without quality, you will get into trouble as well. I think if you remember, uh, if I'm not mistaken, I think it was last year's. Uh, I think it's uh, from Samsung, is it? And then uh, one company produced, and then the battery is burned, right? So they have to take back all the product. You see, <laughs> it's not loss. It's not profit making. So if you want to go fast, make sure the product that you produce having quality. If no quality, then it's better to take longer time. Otherwise, I have to take back. Same thing with, I uh, remember there's a car, you know, the, the airbag. You know, the airbag will kill somebody. And then after they found out the incident that happened, they have to take back all the car and then they have change all the airbag for all the customers. You see? So sometimes fast is not really that good. Make sure it has quality in the product or the service. Okay? So next second point is global competition. So today's market demands cheaper and better products and services. So we 
you in I'm sure you know the term ISO 9000. UM is certified. You see ISO 9000 series and international standards for quality management and improvement. So of course, every one of us we want to buy something that is cheap, but then it is a good product. So you want. In order to have that kind of thing that people can produce cheap and good things, you have to apply ISO standard. So standard is implying a uh, quality. Okay, in in terms of uh, when they say ISO, uh, it reflects the term quality. That means whatever you produce got quality. So UM is ISO certified. That means we produce students that we have quality students. So the means student graduated from UM. If you go out join the industry, let's say software development, you can produce good software systems system with a, a lot of bugs inside okay so that shows quality okay and in order to have quality you have to apply project management okay next so now next the next factor is the knowledge explosion so the growth in new knowledge has increased the complexity of projects because projects encompass latest advancements okay all the advances here the project management is an important discipline for achieving this task. So because of this knowledge explosion, you have to apply project management. You can see the last time the phone. So you to drop the water into water, definitely is spoiled, right? So do you dare to drop your, your phone into the water? Now they produce what? The phone that is waterproof. Okay. Even even uh, one day I saw one of the videos showing someone go and drop the phone from very high, you know, to stand up very high and drop it. But the phone is not, not never cracked, you see. So they produce the knowledge exposure that they come up with product which is very good and they can think of all, all kinds of risks. Somebody can drop the phone and then the screen will crack. So they can produce something that can pro, uh, protect your phone now. So you don't have to worry about all these things. Okay. And also let's say the alarm clock. It's not just a ringing, you know. So people will really complain. You muted. Doctor. Doctor, you muted yourself. Look, it. I think I don't know what is going on. Okay, can can hear now? Yeah. Can hear? Yes. 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 I didn't mute it. I don't know what happened. Okay. Did you somebody mute me? Ah. Huh? I, I no. 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 No one go and mute me, yeah. Okay. No. <laughs> okay. So you can see, I don't know, maybe you missed uh my explanation just now. So basically the uh, knowledge explosion means you know, because the advancement is all this knowledge here, people produce new things. You see, uh now the uh handphone is waterproof. Okay, you can drop it, it won't crack, and then you can all the alarm clock now become got smell, okay, and then the washroom become cleaner and then with the latest technology. Okay. Okay, next. Okay, the next point is about the uh, triple bottom line, about planet, people, and profit. So the businesses can no longer focus on maximizing profit to the detriment of the environment and society. So efforts to reduce carbon imprint and utilize renewable resources are realized through effective project management. So the impact of this movement towards sustainability can be seen in changes in the objectives and techniques used to complete the projects. So you can see today's project, people emphasizing on recycle. Say they want the green. Everything come out with the green and saving energy. So you can see the smart, uh, smartphone, smart home, all the smart, smart thing. So they all try to make use of recycle items. You can see this one example here. So this is a wind termite project which is make use from the bike parks you know the bicycle discarded people don't want the bicycle they make use of it and then become the wind termite you see or not so you make use of the recycle things and then you try to save the green energy you see save reduce the energy or you can uh, reduce the emission of the carbon dioxide or whatever can destroy the environment so today's project always talking about green technology okay so you need to apply project management uh, to manage all this so next is the corporate downsizing. So companies outsource significant segments of project work 
project managers have to manage not only their own people, but also their counterparts in different organizations. So to these companies, they are not very big. They only have a few staff, and then they are going to outsource. They ask other people to do the job for them, and then they just monitor. So if you outsource, they must be able to monitor the job that you sub subcontract to outside people, and you make sure that the subcontractor, they are good enough, you give them the time, it's just like give them assign a project, they must able to deliver the project to you. Otherwise, you'll be in trouble. Okay, so next is the increased customer focus. So customers want customized products and services that cater to their specific needs. So the project management is critical to development of customized products and services and to sustaining beneficial relationships with the customers. So you can see the previously uh, people play golf. Those are adults who can play golf. So there are people who are tall, who are short. So now they come out something they customize. Anyone, even the children, they can play the golf using the golf clubs with different design, with the long distance, with the short one. You see the very long one with the short one. So you can see uh, it customized for the different needs of the customers. Okay. So next is about small projects that uh, represent big problems. Many small projects eat up the people resources of a firm and represent hidden costs not measured in the accounting system. A process is needed to prioritize and develop a portfolio of small projects that supports the mission of the organization. So in a company, they are not just doing one project. They got many, many projects. So it's just like, Apple, Sony, all these big, big company, they are not doing one project. They were doing many, many projects, thousands over projects every day, ongoing. So each project, you need people, you need resources, you need money, okay? You have to allocate. You must know how to monitor all this. But there are some projects, they are small, small size, not the same size. So you need to uh, have a system, a process that you prioritize so that it won't take up. You see, all the small, small projects always see that it's it, taking a bit, a bit. But you never notice that in the end, it takes up a lot of your using up your resources. So you must have a system that can manage all the different projects by prioritizing them. So which, pro which project, you got many, many projects, but which one is more important? You have to carry out first, followed by first one, second one, third one, and so on. So that you can manage all the people, the resources, the money, capital, and your time to optimize them so that you are getting the most, the benefit from all the management and not in the end you lose money because you're not able to manage the project well. So don't look at just small project. The small project also taking people and resources. So you must know how to manage not just all the big project, but also must look into the issues that involve in these small, small projects. Okay, next is about project governance. The governance is an integrative approach. So integration or we call centralization of project management. It provides the senior management with an overview of all project management activities. So because you centralize, so you know, you can see what are the projects ongoing. This project take how many people and how long it takes and what are the equipment being used. So that's why you have a big picture of how organizational resources are used because sometimes resources are scarce, not enough. Not You, you don't have always enough people. So it's just like, uh, some company, they don't have enough people, then they go and use outsourcing. You see, they must use an approach. Or they can make use of, okay, whoever, it's just like somebody is in the staff in this company, today somebody is sick, then who is going to take over the job of the person who is coming to work? So you must know how to manage resources. So you must have integration. If this person cannot do the job, who it will be the backup? So a risk assessment of their portfolio or project. So every project, there's a chances that some factor then cause the project to fail. So you list now, what are the possible factors, the risk, uh, the events that can cause uh, all the project to fail or each of these, they got the different type of risk. So it's just like now our, our education. Now, because of this COVID-19, we are supposed to have face-to-face. -face. Now we cannot have. So we have to change to become online learning. So this is a risk, okay? So one of the risks is, so if you're using the online, what are the problems we are going to encounter? So it's just like, I can tell you that uh, in my supervision of my master and PhD student, I find it difficult because it's a face-to-face. -face, we can uh, clarify their doubts and then I can show them my drawing, everything, you know, together face-to-face -face and clarify their doubt and explain to them clearly. But because of this uh, 
COVID-19, we have to do it online. And because it takes a lot of time and explanation, we cannot see each other, even though we can do it online, but it's still some kind of things that, uh, you know, that stop us uh, from getting to the point that I want the message that pass to them clearly. So that's why even sometimes I write email messages, the student interpreted wrongly, you see. So these are a lot of risks that we need to analyze each a project that we're going to do, what kind of possibility or events that are going to cause the project to fail, and how we try to avoid the risk. So a rough metric of the firm's improvement in managing projects relative to others in the industry, and also linkages of senior management with actual project execution management. So basically, that means if you have a project governance, we try to centralize. We see the all the projects together and try to identify what are the problems, what are the things we can try to avoid, and how to make full use, optimize the resources across all the projects you carry on at the same time. So, and this is the definition for governance. Governance, it means applying a set of knowledge, skills, tools, and techniques to a collection of projects in order to move the organization towards its strategic goals. So we have a goal. Every company has the goal. So how you implement through your project. Okay. So that's why the organizing culture environment is you see, you have to carry out your project and you apply project management. So this one is based on the portfolio of management and towards the uh, align with the strategic plan. So to in the end, you're going to achieve the company's strategic goal. So in UM, what are the, the main goals of UM? So UM must produce quality students. UM must produce quality research. So with all this, you will come down from the top management, they're setting all the whatever uh, mission, you know, the vision, Top management set all this and then they define what are the strategic you know uh, action they are going to take so they say they got a uh, different uh, units you see they got research and then who handle the focusing on how to help the researcher to carry out research by getting research fund you know how to join up with industry and in the end you can market your product and so on so all this coming down and going up so all this will try to help you to achieve the uh, the whole organization achieving to their strategic goal of that organization or company that they have set. Okay, so you need to apply project management and it should be the integrated environment. So earlier, you know, in UM, they got a different faculty, different department. There are some of the equipment, they are very expensive. So they are isolated. The particular faculty having that equipment and then it cannot be shared by others. Then later, the research, the centralized the research unit, and then they can tell, they know this is a special equipment, very expensive. If you need it, you can go to certain faculty and share and use this kind of resources. So become, you can optimize if you have integrated management of projects. Okay, so next is the alignment of projects with organizational strategy. So problems resulting from the uncoordinated project management systems in group. So if you are not coordinated, you don't centralize the management, then there are some failures you're going to encounter, some problems going to encounter. So projects that do not support the organization's overall strategic plan and goals, you see, because you are not centralized, so you are doing here pieces in here, here and there. So some of the project, maybe you are not achieving the goal. What is the company going to achieve? Okay, the main objective of that company. Independent managerial decisions that create internal imbalances, conflicts and confusion resulting in dissatisfied customers. You see, because it's independent, you do your thing, I do my thing, you know. So you don't have some kind of a team spirit. So you don't share, okay, what is happening, what you're doing, is it contributing to the success of the company? What you're doing, another project is yes, another company, uh, another project is no. So you have to have the, uh, you cannot do it independently. You have to tell and then coordinate, you know, uh, each other, say what you're doing, what I'm doing, you know, they are interrelated. And then what are you going to achieve are uh, towards the organization strategy and the goal of the company. So failure to prioritize projects results in the waste of resources or no value added activities or projects. So if you don't prioritize, uh, as mentioned just now, a company is not doing one project. They are doing many, many projects. So which project is more important? Which project is not so important? So same thing when in your study. So there are many courses. So how do you prioritize uh, the, uh, you know, the task or assignment or project assigned from each lecturer in each of the different courses that you are taking now? So I'm sure one of the strategic plan you are going to apply, you know, how to prioritize, usually you will use the uh, guideline is deadline. Whichever the project deadline comes first, I will do that one first, you see. Some of you will use this as a common one, but some may not see that way. Some will use the strategic is, uh, the way you use it is, okay, I got many projects I have to carry out, uh, assigned by different lecturers from different courses. So now how do I prioritize? So some will say, oh no, I should 
go and prioritize by doing the more difficult project first. The one that I need to spend more time first. Because if you go and put it last, then you end up with not enough time. So that's why you must know how to prioritize. Otherwise, your project is going to fail. Okay, and also wasted a lot of time doing unnecessary things. So next, okay. The major functions of portfolio management, the science and the art of project management. So the project management can be seen from two perspectives. One is the science and the other is the arts perspective. So here, using this approach here, you can oversee the project selection. You see from this aspect here, you can tell, okay, so which project will be selected and maybe some project you have to drop it, okay, cancel the project because it's not so important now. So next, you have monitor aggregate resource levels and skills, see. From there, you can tell which one selected, I will assign given priority, I'll give you more resources. That one is not so important, then I give you resources later, or I give you less people, okay, or less skillful people to carry out the project. You encourage use of best practices, see, they got uh, standards. You follow certain way of doing things so that you optimize everything, you get the best out of the what you, how you manage it, okay, not wasting resources, time and money. So balance projects in the portfolio in order to represent a risk level appropriate to the organization. You see, every project as mentioned just now, they create some kind, they have some kind of risk. They, are, they will cause the project to fail. Of course, if a project fails, they will affect the company's performance. So you try to balance out, you see, from this listing of prioritizing of the project, which one has the least uh, risk that is going to uh, affect your project success, then you'll be chosen. The one that you think is going to have the high risk of failure, of course, you're not going to put that uh, prioritize them as the very important projects. So next, you improve communication among all stakeholders. See, every project has stakeholders. So you have to, uh, this kind of science and art, is the science aspect and the art, uh, art aspect is actually is the soft skill. How you deal and communicate with the stakeholders. So if they want to change, in the, let's say your system development, the stakeholders say, okay, after certain uh, halfway through, say come to you, say, I want to change some of the system requirements. You see, how you're going to communicate and communicate with them, uh, telling that, okay, I allow you to change, I don't allow you to change. So from this, you can apply all the science and the art aspects to manage and dealing with the stakeholders. And you create a total organization perspective that goes beyond silo thinking, you see? So it's in a group, you don't do it alone. So you share it with other team members, other project, other teams to share out all the resources, the knowledge and so on, so that you're not doing alone, okay? So improve overall management of projects over time, you see? So your management getting better and better and you, you learn from each other because every project got lessons learned. From the lesson learned, if you're doing the same, oh, that project uh, failed in certain way, that project encounters certain problem. Okay, I will try to avoid this uh, from happening in my project by doing what, what, okay? So from what people mistake make from other projects, you learn and become better in your management. So this is a picture to show just now the two perspectives, okay, the science and the art. Okay, so this is called the technical and social cultural dimensions of the project management process. So from the technical side, which is you are going to learn from this course here, you're going to define the project scope. WBS is work breakdown structure. And then you must know how to do project schedulings and also resource allocation, allocate uh, who do what, the material and so on, equipment baseline budget so you're going to learn this how you allocate the budget for each different phases and then you learn how to produce status report that means ongoing you keep track of the progress you control of your project progress and from the other social cultural perspective actually that is from the soft skill side you must have you have a project manager so that is you have to apply your leadership how to manage your team members and then if they have conflicts among the team members how are you going to solve so not just a conflict among the, the staffing, but also maybe other resources problems. So you must have a problem solving skills. And next, because this is a project, you're managing a team. So you must know how to foster teamwork. And also you must know how to negotiate. So the customer stakeholder may some way halfway through, uh, after system level, halfway come in and say, oh, I want to change uh, from the feature of A become the feature of Z. So a big different chain. So or I want to add new feature, new function into the system. So can you handle this? So how you negotiate with the stakeholder, whether you allow the change or you don't allow the change because that will affect your delivery. So can you deliver if you ask you to make a lot, of, a lot of major changes? So in the end, whatever the actual plan you deliver next week become you cannot deliver because of a lot of new changes coming in. 
So can you accept that? And you have to negotiate with the stakeholders. So next, of course, there are politics. Okay, there are some issues. Uh, people have the priority taking some resources. Uh, let's say got different projects ongoing. You know, some uh, project manager uh, who are in, more influential say, okay, I need this person in my team. So because I've got more power, okay, so the political issue inside there say, okay, I must have these people. You cannot have. You wait until I finish, then I pass the stuff to you. Okay, so there are a lot of politics going on, some fighting going on. Uh, with, among the managers themselves, among the team members themselves. So next also, you must also take care of customer expectations. So what you produce, make sure it's quality product. And if not, after you deliver, let's say a software system, you come back, customer file a lot of bugs, uh, then they will have a lot of complaints and then it will cost the reputation of the company and then it will cost a uh, company suffer from loss because you have to bear a lot of, uh, you know, uh, debugging time, spend all things. Uh, doing free for the uh, customer because you didn't deliver a good or quality product which is error free. It come back a lot of things. Of course, the first thing, it will have affected the reputation of the company. And next, of course, affected the progress of other projects because after you deliver and the come back and you need the resources to do the debugging. You see, so there's not a lot of things. Uh, handling a project is not just the technical part itself. It involves also the soft skill side. So that's why it's a two perspective of technical and social cultural aspect. So you are going to cover uh, both of this, okay? Uh, actually, uh, because of this COVID-19, we cannot have a face-to-face. -face. Otherwise, I usually will organize a talk by a professional expert from outside uh, to give you some kind of experience about teamwork, you know, the feel of what is teamwork, problem solving, leadership, and so on. So this year, you are very unfortunate year for you that I cannot organize this. I think if you... If you get to know from your seniors, I always organize, okay? And even for all my project management uh, course, students that are taking in my class, to have one, uh, invite this one expert from outside, and then we have some kind of event and activities to help you to understand this social cultural aspect. Okay, so this is a very unfortunate for you for this year. Okay, so any questions? So these are the main things that you need to know for this uh, first lecture here, the introduction about project management. So these are the key terms here, program, ISO 9000, project, project life cycle, social technical perspective. Okay, these are the main ones. Any questions so far? Okay. Uh, doctor, what is WBS again? A work breakdown structure. You will learn oh. this uh, in the coming lecture. Okay, thank you. Okay, any more questions? Okay, do you need to take a break? Uh? Uh, yes, oh, you need to take a break, yeah? Okay, I, I give you five minutes break and then we'll come back and continue. Uh, those of you, have all of you uh, form your project team? Anyone still don't have project team? Uh, please uh, voice it out and let me know. Uh, doctor, just a question. How do we take our attendance? Yeah, uh, yeah. That's, that, that's the thing now. Uh, because I want you to form the project team first. Then after that, I want, because once you form the project team, there'll be a project leader, right? So I want the project leader to take attendance for me. And then I will give you the form. You just uh, put in the attendance, record the attendance for me. Can I have all the project teams? That's why I want you to form the project team today. Uh, excuse me, doctor. Uh, yeah. For the project team, uh, it can be mixed between tutorial 2, tutorial 5, or it should be from the and same tutorial? No cannot I already mentioned very clearly in the in my instruction you can only have members from the same group if you tutorial group you only can choose member from tutorial group two if you're mm -hmm. from three only members from group three you cannot go at group two go to group five and mix mix no 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 because it's different time <coughs> yeah yeah you understand okay. now and then the, the title of the project is different. So you cannot have, have group two doing a project and then you have member from group five. Which different project? Which project you are doing? Yeah, yeah. Okay. So, okay. How, yeah. Many, how many people in the group? Hey, you see, that means you are not reading my instruction. I already given I, I read it, but I didn't notice it. No, it's mentioned in my instruction. It's 10 to 12. Okay. Okay. Ah. Okay, thank you very much. <laughs> did, 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 you didn't check the file? Okay. I checked it and I, I wrote my name, but you know, I, I don't I don't see which which one is group one, two, five because I see just name, project title, and project manager. But I see it's mixed, it. so I don't know which one should be in, in which group, which one in tutorial one, which one in tutorial two, four, five, like that. 
No, I I think I think the did you did you check spectrum or not? Did you check the instruction in my spectrum? Yeah. I I I I given out a file and then I give is the Excel file. I explain a uh, one one of the page is about instruction. Second page is a list of students from the group two, two group three, group four, group five. Uh huh. Okay. I think okay. you didn't open the Excel file and read the look at the Excel file properly. I think the rest all know about this. Am I right? Okay. Uh, any more questions? First? Uh, yes. Yeah. Yes. Yes. Yeah. Your question? I need to know who is not having a team now. Um. Yes, Doctor. Uh, I don't have a team as well. You're from which group first? Please introduce. Um, you know. Ah. From group three. Uh, your name? Uh, my name is Farhan Sadek. Oh, the one that you sent me the email, right? Yes. yes. Ah, okay. Uh, because now, because as I say, the difficulty, you see, uh, the difficulty that we are facing now is because of this online. So if face to way, I can immediately get uh, who are the one having team and you can see you and then solve it in the class. Okay, uh, what I can do now is I want all the uh, the teams that already form. You have, I, I believe you have chosen your leader, right? Because so far I received, I think, three, e uh, three email messages from uh, three teams giving me the team uh, info. I believe the first person is the leader, right? I mentioned that if you put the name, the first person should be the leader. Am I right? The one who submitted names to me. Yes. Yeah, the, the top, yes. the top person yes. is okay. the leader. Yeah, I, I received three units so far. I received three email messages that they formed the team and then who are the team members and also I, I, I mentioned in my message the first name will be the leader. I will assume that, that you are doing it, okay? So can I have the rest of the team also do that and send your team members and your list of names to me now? So that I can check, you know, which team is still uh, having a vacancy. Okay. Can I have during this break here? Okay, give you uh, 10 minutes now. Uh, all the team members, okay, if you don't have that, you can try find one, go and find and join. And then the leader go and type out all the names, the, the info I need. Okay. The metric number, the name, and then your email address for all the students. And then send to my email now. Mention your tutorial group. Okay, just mention you are from which tutorial group. Is that okay? I give you 10 minutes, you do it now. After I get this, then I'll tell you how to do the attendance. So I want the leader to take attendance for me. Okay, team member, just tell your leader, say you are present today. You understand? And then I'll give the attendance file to only the leader will go to the file. I'll put in the uh, Google share drive. Then a uh, different group, go and click at the different Excel file. It's, it's within the same Excel file, it's different sheet. So you click on that one and then uh, actually for today, I click everyone present, okay? So if you're any member that registered under your group today is absent, you change the one to become zero. You understand? So I use a binary number, one for present, zero for absent. Okay, so can I have uh, 10 minutes now, starting from now, 10 minutes to let all the uh, students taking this call to form your project team. And then those who don't have 10 minutes later uh, are online again. Let me check the email and also I'll come back in 10 minutes time. And then those don't have a team tell me and I will assign you to any team that still got vacancy. Is that okay? Uh, doctor. Uh, doctor. Uh, are you going yes. to go first? Uh, doctor, I want to ask uh, for the email address that we should submit, right? Uh, uh, can we use a personal email address or should we use this for mail? Uh, you can give me both. Okay, thank you. Okay. Uh, second question. Uh, Doctor, uh, sorry, can I get the team code to enter the WIS? Say again. Say uh, again, can, I don't understand. Uh, can I get the team code? Team code? To, what was yeah. team code? Because some of us uh, haven't at, uh, have not entered the Microsoft team group for WIS 2002. Is it? Because I added all your, I because I was given the attendance sheet from office and I, I entered all your email addresses. That means all of you are in, in this course. Because if you are you have not registered, I won't get your email address. I remember I entered all except for one student from tutorial group two and one student from tutorial group five. I couldn't get, uh, you know, when I searched, your name is not appear in the MS team and in my course. 
So the rest all in already. So how come you say you don't have? What's your uh, name? I, don't also don't. I also don't have. I'm not part of the teams as well. I also don't have. You, you also don't have? You, you're saying what? You, you cannot what, access to this code or what? So that they have the Microsoft Teams for this particular course. Can't you cannot, but how, how come you're, you're now here? Because we got a link from one of our other members in the group. Uh, the call. Someone sent us an invite. No, actually, I, I'm, I'm the, I included yeah, all. Too. No, no. Did you get an email message from me? No. 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 Uh, um, actually, the link was in the system mail. No, no. I, 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 you know what happened? I set up this MS team, and then I put in all, all the students' name included in this MS team, the meeting. And it's all successful, except, as I said just now, only two students, one from uh, tutorial group two, and one student from tutorial group five, I couldn't enter when I clicked their name. But the rest all in. It's all in my list now. So when I click, I set up this, it will send a message, you know, to you. And then from there, they will ask you to join the meeting. You mean you didn't get? We can join the meeting, but we are not in the team. That is very yeah. strange. Why, yeah, why we, you're not in the group? In the um, because, Doctor, you have to give a join by code to be in the team. Then you can use the chat function or else you can just uh, be in the lecture but cannot type or use the chat function. Yep. Um, let, 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 let me find out uh, what, what, what is going on first. Okay, so now what is the problem now? Just tell me exactly what I should give you. The code to me, uh, actually, what should I do in order for you to able to join the code? Because because according to what I set up, is all students, you know, all students I invited, you know, all students I invited into this class, and they can attend all my lectures as what I scheduled. Because it's all when I click everything is all, uh, all the email addresses are successfully added. As I say, only two not successful. So I do not know why you telling me that you are well, you don't have the course code. I, I don't understand this. But uh, the thing um, is, yes. I'm aware that the class is actually on my schedule. Uh -huh. the, 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 the lecture does appear on my schedule, but uh -huh. the channel the channel for the for the course is not in my teams, in my team staff. It's not in your team. Uh, some of you got some of you don't have, is it? Yeah. Yeah, doctor, I mean, yeah, yeah, maybe there was some problem yes. with the email. Okay, okay. Uh, but do you get the invitation message from me, the email from me? No. No, uh, no, no, there was uh, someone no, sent no. a link and we just joined by that. Yeah, yeah, we who who is the one who sent you the link? From your friend, is it? Yeah, yeah. yeah. yeah yes. from our friend. Okay, that, that is a bit strange because I still cannot understand why because I included everyone inside the MS team, my lecture, everything. Uh, maybe I, I try to find out what is the reason behind this. Uh, but some people uh, mentioned that you, you have, right, you're registered in this course. Some are not, right? Some yes, I some not. Everyone right? is registered. I think everyone has registered. registered already. Yeah, everyone is registered. Yeah. Everyone registered for this course. Yes. Yeah. Yes, yes, doctor. You cannot get the link to this lecture link. No, yeah. so the thing is, um, you also didn't doctor, get the email from you don't also didn't get an email from me. Yes. Yeah. Yes. Okay. Okay. Yes. I, I will I will check. I, I don't know what what that's the problem because this, this group is very big. I think it's more than two hundred students. But I remember I click uh, I copy everyone inside. Uh, that's I took me a long time, you know, to put all your email addresses into the MS team, you know, only those invited. So and then I sent out the message. So I assume everyone got my message. Uh, I didn't know that uh, some of you are having this problem. Okay. Uh, never mind. I try to to find out what is going on first, and then uh, if you cannot get it, so again you just try to get from your friend first. Let me at the same time try to solve this problem. Okay. Uh, can I have all the have all the team leaders send your email to my UM mail to, to check and so that I can find out who are the people still don't have a team yet? Uh, a reason. 
uh, you, no, you send your, your team, uh, your metric number, student name, and email addresses, and then the first name will be the leader. Yeah, yeah. Yeah, so that I, I can help those uh, who don't have a team yet, let me know online, then I assign you to uh, which team you should join. Okay, so give me a few minutes. I go to check my email first. Please tell me your group number because uh, some of you send me email. I don't know from, from which group. You see, this is a student. Uh, this one from where? WIF190027. You, you just say, uh, you know, this is your list of student. And then uh, you, you, you not, not mention, you know, you're from which tutorial group? Uh, Doctor, I sent you already another email saying that I'm from tutorial 5. Oh, yeah, the, the first email you got tutorial five. Second one never mentioned. Ah, uh, the, the first email is the wrong one. Second one is the correct name list, and the third one I mentioned that we are in from tutorial five. Okay, okay. Just just put uh, all the info in one message. I don't have to I to trace oh, back okay. different messages. It's it's very messy for me. Okay. Very Can okay. all the leader do do it now? Okay. So that uh, I want to sort out uh who are the people not. Not having a team now. At least I solve your first problem first. Uh, can you look at if you can go to uh MS team? Can you go under the files and then have a look at some of the files that uploaded about the project title and instruction about the projects? You can have a look. Can you access or not? Inside the MS team, I uploaded a few files. Can you see or not? Um, doctor, I'm not in the team. You're not in the team? Uh, yeah, I'm not in the team. So you cannot uh, see anything, is it? Uh, I can't see anything. Yes, we can't see anything. No, we, see. we just joined the, the meeting, but we, we are not in the team. You can only join yes, this meeting, no. but you're not in the team yet. Yes, uh, yeah. Yeah, yeah, yeah. Yes. For most of us. You're from which group, one? can I know? Uh, I am from group tutorial two. Okay, so uh, probably I I I uh, the one from tutorial group four. Uh, are you in my team now? Those from tutorial group four. Anyone from tutorial group four? Are you in my this team? Just let me know. Yes. Ah, uh, okay. I I think I I I I I know what's the problem now. Okay. okay. I, I will send it for you. Uh, I think by this Friday, you, will, you should be in my course. Because I have not added all, because there are many of you. I only added you into uh, inviting you to the lecture. I have not in, uh, put all of you into the course yet. Okay, yes. I, I, I'll do that shortly, because there are many of you. It's 200 over. Okay. Uh, Doc, uh, okay. Doctor, instead I, of in adding everyone individually, you can send us the code so we can all join the team. Yeah, I agree. Uh, no, because I because some of you are from different uh um because I they are they are student from group one. I don't want the group one student to join this <laughs> because they are not in my class. Other than they, they get confused to know what they are doing because it's two different lecturers teaching the course. Uh, okay. Uh, so that's the reason I create a separate okay. class. Because I can put it a public and anyone can come in, you see. No, I I, I because our group one is under Dr. Hyro. He has his own way of, uh, he has his own project title and so on. That's why uh, last year, the course also same thing. We got two lecturers teaching. And then the student got so confused. They're asking a lot of things because they are from different groups and from different lecturers, under different lecturers. They ask, ask a lot of things which, you know, they are irrelevant to, because they are from not, not from my team. They ask oh, about my I... team. And my team will ask about from the other lecturers' things. So they become so confused, I noticed. So in the end, uh, this time I decided, because it's not, again, it's also, that is face to face, also having a lot of problems. So now I decided right, only my doctor. team student can come in and see what is happening here. By the way, doctor, everyone yeah. joining today's lecture ah. is either from T2 to T5, because yeah. T1, if I'm not mistaken, is on Friday, right? Yes, 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 different. So... Uh, tutorial group one, the, the lecture is on Friday, but for you, 
uh, T2 until T5. Your lecture is Wednesday morning. Yeah, so I think you can just like send the link here now because everyone from here is from T2 to T5, right? Yes. Yeah, so uh, I can't see any problem with like, sending the code here. I mean, not on Spectrum, like, but right here. I send the code from here. Where? I, I don't understand. Um, uh, it, it, we didn't have it on the screen. Messages, right? uh, uh, the, you can show us the code on the screen. The yes, code? The, uh, hey, the uh, Microsoft team. The code to the team. Microsoft team code. Yeah. yeah. Do you get this? Can you see this one? Uh, ah, yeah. yeah. Uh, this is the one. Is this, then you can able and then you go to the... If I send up... Do you think you can uh, uh, receive this? The, the current screen is showing PowerPoint slide. Yeah, we can see no, the huh? mic. Can you, can you see the PowerPoint? We're still, We're still on the PowerPoint. Yeah. I'm still in the PowerPoint. Yeah. yeah. Yep. Uh, let, 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 let me switch. Let me switch. Uh. Okay. Can you see this one now? Yes. Are you seeing this one? Yes. Yes. But actually, this one is supposed to receive this because I I included all the emails of all of you into this. It is very strange you are not getting this. No, no, no actually, the, uh, doctor, this is the uh, this is the, the one in the CISFO mail, and this just lets you join the meeting, not the like, team. Uh, yeah, it just oh. lets you join the meeting, but without being in the team itself. Uh, I as I say, I think because I have not added all. Uh, we we can. Uh, we can be added by uh entering the code. Oh, you yourself adding the code. Yeah, yeah, we can add the yeah. code. We, we can just like because we have like one button that says join, and after join, uh -huh. it will promise to enter a code. Mm -hmm. And then you yeah, approve yeah, it. I, I, because I, I I cannot remember because <laughs> you know I have not been using for. After I finished last semester, I because my class very small, very simple one. Because this is the first time I handled this. Very sorry that you know I, I really do not know um is from where I should give you. Uh, it's okay. One? So uh, actually, just tell me from where I I I can get you the code. Is it copy uh, link? Settings. It's from settings. Team code and generate. If I'm not mistaken. Settings. Team code. Let me see. Okay, let me let me check. Team. I go to the team, right? Let me see. Uh. Let, let me do it step by step. Yeah, sure. We go to the team. Okay, uh, this is the team. Uh, where's the code? Now I click what? Um, like, wait. Yeah, you go to the general. That's like a button, right? Like beside the project management thing on the left tab. On the left? Okay, this one here. Is it? Is it the edit team? Ah? Um, no. Get link to Wait. team. Yeah, get, get link to team. Get this one. You need this one. Yeah. Yes. Okay, so get link maybe... to team. Oh, oh, so can, no. can you see now? Yes. But here's the problem. How are we going to get it? Like, because we're not in the team, so the chat function is currently off. Uh-huh. Yeah, just let oh, me know you're, 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 you're from group one. Uh... Two. Yeah, that, that, that's what I'm saying. I, I haven't added the group group two yet. I added the group four. Be because uh, I, I I added not all yet because there are many of you. Oh, uh, how about like for the group leaders who have emailed you just now, you just like reply the email by sending this link and then us group leaders will just like send the link back to other members so that yeah, they, can, they can, can join it. Uh, can, can, yeah. can. I copy this and then I reply to the email. Can, can can all the leaders send me your email now and then I, I reply to all the, the leaders and then you, you share with all the members? Yeah. 
Okay. Yeah, just now we send you the list of members. Oh, you, you send right? yeah. okay. so Those who not just send, just send now. Okay, I'll do it now. Okay. Yes. Uh, I think for the to create the generate the QR code. Hmm. Uh, there is button that manage team. QR code. On, no need. Uh, 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 the code. the code for team. It's much uh. easier than the link to the team. Uh huh. The three button for the. Uh, uh, the three button that you click tadi. Aha, uh -huh, okay. The manage team. Manage team, okay. Uh, oh, yes. Okay. Then? <coughs> oh. Uh, then? The Select setting and scroll down to the team code. Are you setting? That's it. Setting? Just now I click setting one. Oh, setting. that's a set. set. I, I, I mean, no, no. Uh, uh, you click manage team, right? Uh, yeah. There's a, there's a settings button there. Yeah, okay, that's a tab. Tab setting. Right now, you're on members. So... Yeah. Yeah. Uh, uh, I, it's I like the... the members. The setting tab. The setting tab. Ah, uh, setting here. Yes. Yeah. Then? I think that's a code. That's a uh, code there. Where, where, where's the yeah. code? Uh, team code. Yes, team, team code. code. Yeah, this one. Team, this one. Code. team code. Team code is yeah. so people can uh, join the team. You won't uh, join... I click on this. Ah, generate. Yeah, generate. Generate. Okay, thank you. you okay, you can. So everyone just click this. I don't have to add you anymore, is it? <laughs> yes. It's so much easier. Oh, okay, okay. Then then I because it's a lot of work for me. <laughs> I've been spending all the time adding all of you into my MS team. Is that okay now? You you, you try to get this uh you know code and then see whether you can join now. If the problem solved, just let me know. Yes, if we can join problem, and we can see yes, the files. They are already in. We're, yeah, in we're already in. Yes. Okay, good. okay, thank you so much for helping to solve my problem. Okay, uh, can, can I know who are the people don't have a team yet? Uh, send me your name in a group, send to my email. Uh, I will sort it out and then I ask, uh, I will assign you to the team. To a project team, okay? Only those don't have, okay, don't have a project team yet. You send me email because I need some time to compile. Maybe some, because there are so many groups. I got group two until group five. So you give me some time. By end of uh, this evening, i let you know which group you are joining. So the team that is not having the maximum number of students, I will be fine. Is that okay? Okay now? Okay, uh, uh, the one don't have the project team yet, can you just wait for my email? I will tell you which team you need to join, right? So let me go through the assessment form. So all of you now can access the features now, the chat and everything. Yeah. Yes, okay. yes, we can. Okay. Yes, okay. yes, yes. Okay, good. So that problem solved. So uh, let's go to the... <laughs> Okay, I think I uploaded the files from here. Can you download? Yes, we can. Okay, the, the first one actually is just a code for today. Okay, uh, just to let you know importance of time and definition of time. You can have a look at this.
Okay, so that's about about time. So please take note uh, and have good time management. Okay, and uh, after this, as I say, I won't be teaching you anymore. Uh. So I only have 14 weeks with you. Okay, so next, uh, you, you look at the second file, which is uh, the project title and then the project uh, guideline. So let me go through and brief you this uh, the, about the assessment scheme and so on. Okay. So let's go for a uh, second one, which is, uh, let me give brief review the assessment scheme. Can you see my screen display? Yeah, yeah. Okay. Okay, for this course, as I mentioned just now, we have two lecturers. The first uh, one is Dr. Wait, Mohamed Haiko. The, yes? The, I can only see your Microsoft Teams. Not, oh, not okay, okay. I, let me see. Uh, okay, okay, I'll, I'll, switch, I'll switch. I think I need to switch. Okay, <laughs> sorry. Okay, you better always let me know. Uh, okay, okay. Okay, because I, I think I, I realized I need to switch. Okay, okay, now, yeah, yeah okay. So now for this course, uh, we have two lecturers. Dr. Mama Hiro is he will be the coordinator. So he will upload about a uh, course uh, pro forma and uh, Malumat Kursus, you know, course info, all these things. You know, he's the coordinator, he's the boss of this course. So I will get instructions from him, okay? But because uh, we are two different lecturers teaching this course, so we may modify our lecture notes. So I always have, you see, uh, my lecture notes are put there behind my name. So you are in my course, then you download the lecture notes that is from me. You understand? Okay. So next, we look at the assessment scheme. This one is common uh, for both, uh, so that it's standard. Uh, so it's for all students uh, uh, taking this course, they have the same assessment schemes here. The first one is we have continuous assessment, which is 70%, 70 marks. And then actually last time, because it's face-to-face, -face, we're supposed to have 30 marks final exam. But since this is because of its uh, online uh, e-learning for the 14, 14 weeks, we are not allowed to have face-to-face uh, -face in the exam hall final exam we have decided to change it from the 30 marks of final exam to become two tests we call it test one and test two okay i'll come to that later so for this 70 percent uh, assessment continuous assessment mark you are going to have your know, each project team going to be assigned one project and you need to carry out a project and you produce a project report so this report is going to carry 40 marks, so very important. Okay, understand? Next, you have the project presentations. So 20 marks. So because you can see each team got at least 10 to 12 members, a lot. And I believe we cannot, I cannot finish. You know, at first, was, uh, they gave me only one hour. And I need 250, about 250 students to present in one hour. This is impossible. So in the end, I told faculty to give me uh, split the tutorial groups into one hour each. At first, they give me one hour for four groups. This is crazy. So I say I cannot do it. So in the end, your tutorial group for group two will be this Friday morning, 9 to 10. Tutorial group three will be uh, 10 to 11. And then three and four will be in the afternoon, two to three and three to four. Okay, is that clear? Okay, so when you have your project presentation, that's why because there are too many of you and this is online, it's very, going to be very difficult. So I decided that although this is 20%, you only need to present once. I have two presentations, okay? You only choose, uh, each team member choose. If you really presented in the first presentation, you don't have to present second one. You will just get all the 20 marks. Although I put there, there are two presentations and you need to present both. But I'll give only one mark for 20 marks and you need to present once only. You understand? Yeah, so your presentation will be 20 marks. And then participation in course. Uh, this is the 10 marks here. For example, you participated in, there will be uh, tutorial questions. You answer tutorial questions or you involve in project. Is that like just now, you know, uh, you uh, in project discussion, in lecture, I ask some questions, you answer my questions. So these are all considered participation marks. And also uh, because your project, I can tell you all are about survey forms. Okay, design survey to uh, collect data about something. So by if you answer in help each other in different project group to answer their project, their survey form, you are also participating. So you will get marks for this. You understand? Okay. So involvement in project discussion, in answering survey form and so on. The team projects answer. You see, that's why I put there. To answer survey form, you'll get this, all this mark. You should be able to get these 10 marks easily. Okay. 
So next for the project report, which carries 20 marks. So this one is what are the criteria I use to assess your project report. The contents itself will be 20 marks. The grammar and your writing style, 10 marks. Organization, that means uh, this organ I already given you. Uh, uh, if you look at the next file, which is the project guideline, I given you the template, chapter one, contain what are the content and so on, how you organize it. So already given this one uh, will be five marks for organization. Then you, of course, you will produce figures and tables for your report. And you must have a figure, label, figure itself, and how you do this, the numbering itself. Like in chapter one, you got one figure, then you call it figure 1.1. Instead of figure 1.1, 1, 1, 2, 3, 4, 5, I will explain to you later why you do that. If figure, uh, first figure in chapter two, then you figure 2.1. The first number represents the chapter number. Second number is a sequence of the uh, figure number. Same thing with table. So the first table in chapter one, you put table 1.1. Second table in chapter one, table 1.2, 1.3, and so on. The table in the second chapter, then you put 2.1, 2.2, 2.3, and so on. Uh, the table in chapter 3, 3.1, 3.2, 3.3, you understand? Okay. So you do it for the table and also numbering, you use it this way. Okay. So, and also, of course, you will refer to a lot of references. Okay. So the citation and referencing, how you do the referencing and give me the full detail of the references. Then this one will give you a 5%. Okay, so total will be 40 marks. Understand? Okay, so next, your presentation. So I mentioned just now got two presentations. Each member only need to present once only because too many of you, I don't have enough time. So first, uh, assessment criteria will be you have to uh, give the greeting first. When you start, uh, make sure that you have to greet me first and then all your classmates. So uh, as I say, uh, you just now learn about reads. So there's a possibility, it's just like uh, you have been telling me that you cannot hear my voice, my one was mute, and then you cannot see the screen, and so so all kind of things that can happen. So that's called the risk, okay? So in order to avoid things that happen and will jeopardize your presentation marks, then the best thing is uh, when you present online, be, before you present on the day, I suggest that you prepare a video for that whole group of people. Let's say the first round, there are 12 of you. So the first round, six of you presenting, the six presenting one record your video you send to me as a backup in case the online and cannot hear your voice or something uh, going wrong where I cannot see certain things, you know, become blur or cannot hear your, your sound or, you know, or whatever, you know, things that happen. Then I will base on the video you send to me to give you marks. You understand? That is so called risk management. Okay. So next, you have the contents and also I may ask you some questions online that carries five marks. And then your visual aid, see, when you present also, you show your face as well as your slide design, the audio, video, and uh, if you got any handout, you can send to my email. And next, your voice and pronunciation, two marks. So total, you will get, uh, this one is 10 marks, but I will multiply by two. You understand? Okay, so you only need to present once only, okay? So that's why I put there the note. Each student needs to present once only. Either you present in the first round or you present in the second presentation slot. Okay, yeah. So the first presentation slot will be week 7 until week 9 because there are many groups. You see, I got in one tutorial group, there are a few teams. So I need about 3 weeks. Each team maybe will be given about 10 to 15 minutes the most. Okay. So second presentation will be week 12 until week 14. So the lastly, the project report submission will be the latest by week 14. Okay. And final exam, as I mentioned, because of this uh, online learning and we are not allowed to have a uh, exam hall, go to exam hall and face to face, you are going to have it uh, replaced by two tests. The first test will be during week number six and it carries 15%. And the second test will be in week 12, also 15%. And we already agreed to have it on Saturdays. Okay, You must let me know uh, when we schedule the Saturday, make sure you are not having another exam at the same time on that day. Uh. Understand? So you better inform me uh, if there's clash with anyone also and of course having exam during that uh, same time, same day, you better inform early then we can reschedule to another uh, another time or another day or something like that. Okay. Is that clear? Is that clear about the assessment scheme? Yes. Any questions? Yeah. Okay, yeah. Okay. So this one is very simple. Okay. So next one, next file which I'm going to go through is about the project titles. Okay. So I read uh, a sign. Those students from uh, tutorial group, which group you are going to do what project? Okay, here, let me explain to you. Can you see my screen? 
Can you see my screen? No. no. You can see on my screen. No. Okay, I, I switch again. I have to switch the screen. Can you see now? Okay. Okay now? Yeah. Yes. yes. Okay, so for team two, I mentioned just now your tutorial time, uh, all tutorial will be uh, on Friday. Yeah? So you only attend for one hour. If you're from tutorial two, T2 will be 9 a.m. to 10 a.m. Tutorial three, 10 a.m. until 11 a.m. I will set up the link later. T4 will be afternoon, two to three, and T5, three to four. Okay, so now each team I mentioned must submit a project report by week 14. Okay, and it carries 40 marks, very important. Team project presentation I mentioned just now will be first uh, presentation will be during weeks number seven until week number nine. Second one will be 12 until 14. And then for tutorial classes, we will discuss because uh, during tutorial classes, we either discuss about the project or discuss about tutorial or you are giving presentation. Okay, so discussion or tutorial question, team project, project report and uh, any activity or you answer survey form and so on. All right. So next, okay, my rules during my lecture and tutorial classes. So you switch off or set your mobile phone to silent mode. You mute your microphone if you are not presenting. If you are not, if you are presenting, then you try to avoid any noises from your side. Okay. So for this project team structure, I already mentioned, and I believe most of you already have a project team now. You form your project team consists of 10 to 12 students. Comprising, make sure you have males and female students, multi-ratio, okay, uh, I don't want all, uh, all Malay students one group, okay, you make sure you have, and you can have uh, multi-nationality, you can have a uh, foreign international student to join, okay, then that will be okay, already, understand? So you determine the role of each team member after selection of project title, actually I already given you, I assign you project title, not for you to select, and then you decide who will be the project leader, uh, who is going to do, uh, uh, I, I just give example, uh, these are example on role, system analyst, uh, designer, you can, uh, because you need to design survey form, uh, okay, programmer, uh, data recorder, data analyst, uh, I think if I'm not mistaken, all of you need to learn uh, some kind of using SPSS, am I right this semester? Am I right? Yes. Yes. Yeah, so yes. later... Yes. <laughs> All the project you need to use uh, SPSS to analyze the data that you're going to collect using the survey form. Okay, then you have the document recorder and so on. So you assign role to each one. Uh, what is the main role of each team member? So next, the preparation of project report. You need to document all the project activities, the project progress. So as I go along each lecture, after learning each lecture, you are going to start applying and start doing the documentation. Okay and uh, start preparing for the project report, which is going to carry 40 marks. Eh? So you keep more than one cop so copy of the report, you save in your CD or whatever USB thumb drive, you upload to your email and so on. And you share among all the team members. So this is called risk management. Eh? Because if you have one person keeping it and if something happened to that, the person who is keeping the files only one set, if let's say uh, the system corrupted, ah, then you're gone case. The whole team will be destroyed by this, okay? So you get zero mark out of 40 marks. So make sure you got many copies because this thing always happen is risk management. So I can tell you an uh, incident later uh, if we've got time, okay, uh, about this if you don't have uh, more than one copy keeping by all team members because if one team member something happened, then got another team member can share uh, the backup from other team members, okay. So next, the project progress reporting. Project leader and team members, I will from time to time ask you how's the project progress so that I want to make sure all project going to be completed successfully okay within this uh, 12 10 to 12 weeks you need to carry out this project so the project team presentation will be held as i say 7 to 9 the first presentation and then 12 to 14 the second presentation and each team only present once only each member only once so you decide among yourself who is going to present in the first round who is going to present second round only once okay but you will get the uh, maximum 20 marks of course, you won't get perfect 20 marks, okay? So, uh, project report submission, not later than week 14, because I have to give marks, okay? I'm also giving you the project report submission guideline, okay? That one will be later. Submission is different, uh. the, the Another file is project report guideline, how to prepare the content for the project report. This submission is what you need to submit. I will tell you the guidelines later, because this will be week 14. Now, 
let's come to this the important one. So these are the project titles that I already decided to assign to which group. All teams from the same group doing the same project title. Understand? Okay. So each this of this project usually takes about 10 to 12 weeks. Okay, not more than that. It should be okay. The first project title are you assigned to tutorial group two. Then the second title is tutorial group three. And then next one is tutorial group four. And then tutorial group five. Okay. Basically, the nature of the project is just design a survey form, but with the survey of different objectives. First one is design and develop a survey form to conduct a question air survey to analyze the attitude of university students in course assessment. I'm sure you participated in CTES, right? Yep. Tutorial group two students. OK, so you understand. Huh? So you can read this. That means your purpose is to the attitude, analyze attitude of student when they participate in CTES. So all of you don't have to worry. All the set of survey questions are all ready for all the four projects. Okay. Yeah, so after the two weeks, I, I want the team to finalize first because later maybe have got team, uh, this person go and swap, you see. Their student may swap from group one, uh, group two, go to group five and so on because this thing happen every year. So I want to wait until all the team tentatively you already form the team because there may be some changing or swapping going on. So once it is stable already, then I'll give you the set of survey form. It's already decided and designed by me and with some researchers. Okay, so that the first group is doing C test assessment about attitude when students participate in the C test. Understand? Okay, uh, the tutorial group two, you can go and read the contents here, the description here. For tutorial group three, you have been assigned to design and develop a survey form to collect data and to assess higher order thinking skills. Short form is called HOTS of university students. Okay, so again, you can also read. Then of this experience, a different nature of the content of this survey form. First one is attitude when they participate, see that. Second one, assessing higher order thinking scale of UNC students. So that's why all of you can participate in all this survey. And when you participate, I will give you marks for your participation. Okay, understand? So the que question number three will be assigned to tutorial group four. So again, it's the same thing, design and develop a survey form to collect data and analyze the various issues. It's about issues pertaining to playing computer games among university students. Uh, I believe all of you play games. Anyone don't play games? Anyone never Just play me. games before? Me. Huh? I believe all, right? <laughs> yeah, if I'm not mistaken, I believe somehow rather everyone played games before, okay? So this one is about the different issues. When you see students play games, it's for what purpose? You want to de-stress because you were so, you know, uh, you are fully, you know, occupied with all kind of assignment, you know, coursework. You are so stressed that you play game to de-stress. You see, some students telling me this is the reason they play games. Okay, some maybe they say, oh, you, after playing game, I become more focused. Okay, uh, so there are there are different issues, the advantages and disadvantages. So this one is about the different issues. Maybe after playing game for a long time, then you feel numbness in your hand, you get headache and so on. You know, at night you cannot sleep. You know. Ah, so you get these are the disadvantages. So I'm sure you experience this, okay, after you play games for, for some time, okay. So this one is to find out the different issues about UC students when they play games and what kind of game they like to play, okay. Okay, next one. <coughs> so the tutorial group five, you are going to design and develop a survey form to collect the data and analyze the relationship between critical thinking skills, CTS. And uh, now it's about COVID-19. Uh, it's a very hot topic. And mitigation of the spreading of COVID-19 among the general public. So this one, same thing, you can participate. At the same time, you can invite your family members to answer the survey form. Okay. So uh, take a look at all this here. Okay. Any questions? i give you some time if you want to ask me about this project title. Any question for any of the uh, the tutorial group about this project title? So I let you know what is the project title you are going to carry out. Okay, each each group, uh, students from each group will be doing the same. Okay, same one. So it's only 
depend on each uh, team's creativity how you design the survey form. Uh, you can make use of the those existing survey form, for example, the Google survey form, you can use the monkey survey form, there are many tools, okay? So you can start uh, doing some survey on this, okay? What tool suitable? You, you can do survey first. If you do not know how to use the tool, you also start learning, okay? So that's why the project leader, you see, you can start the first job, okay? Divide, uh, uh, this, uh, go and allocate the role of each team member who is going to evolve in, uh, involve in designing the survey form? Who is going to use that tool to build that survey form? And then who doesn't know, then you can start learning now. Uh, doctor, I have a question. Yes. Regarding the 120 sets of questionnaires, mm -hmm. uh, so 120 sets for every faculty or overall? Uh, this one is uh, overall. So, oh. uh, minimum from one faculty minimum is thirty. All right, all right. Yeah. So, so you can see because I do want you to overlap. So that's why uh, after you have settled down, we will discuss which uh, we, let's say you are from tutorial group four, okay? So let's say tutorial group four, we got seven teams, right? So all the seven team, I do want all the seven team go and collect data from let's say faculty science or FSKTM, right? You will be asking the same person again and again, right? So we will decide a uh, team from uh, tutorial group four, project team number one will collect data FSKTM. And then they say faculty science. Then team number two will collect data from faculty of arts and faculty of medicine. You understand? So we will decide that later. Then you don't have uh, the people tell you, I read answer. Then you go another one, oh, I read answer. You see or not? Okay? All right. All right. Thank mm -hmm. you. Okay. Any more questions? We'll do this after the second week because I want uh, everything to be settled down first after ad drop week. Then all your team structure, all your team members all confirm first. Okay, I think it's very clear about what you need to do. Also very simple and straightforward. So because the you've got at least 10 members. So you see, uh, I put 120 is each one you have to, uh, you, can, you see that's why you, you divide the average. I take the maximum, <laughs> one to zero. So each one must get at least 10 members or 10 uh, 10 people to answer your, your survey form. Okay, understand? Okay, so uh, that's about uh, project titles and also the project team structure. So make sure your team structure fulfill the the conditions I mentioned. Uh, okay, uh, must be have males and females, multi-nationality or multi-racial. Okay, any of this you have to fulfill. Uh, at least some of this, one or two of these requirements here because it is not healthy to have, let's say, all Malaysians. And then that's why some foreign international students say, I have difficulty finding a team, you see? So I want you to interact among yourself, okay? So next, uh, I will give you another file. If you can see, I've given you the guidelines, project guidelines. Okay, so once, uh, actually, you can start this, okay? So you are, you are well guided, so you have nothing to worry how to get all these marks here. So the team project report, which carries 40 marks, this is the preparation guidelines. So I've given you the template or the content of each of this chapter. So first page will be your cover page, acknowledgements, abstract, table of contents, list of figures, list of tables. Then you come to chapter one. Okay, chapter two, because you can see your different group got different titles. So that's why this one literature review is according to the project title. It varies, okay? So chapter one, chapter three, four, five, six are all common to all, except for chapter two, okay? Right, so for this, then chapter two, these are the outline. Uh, the number two here contains for chapter one, introduction. So this one, after you're learning my lecture, then you'll put in, okay? 1.1 project objective statement, post, projecting. Uh, you can put in now if uh, after second week, uh, all your team members, all stable, no more changing. Major rebels, I will go through all these. These are all in my lecture of project management course. Okay. Next, okay, this actually, if you think your members not going to change, you can start assigning, the leader can start assigning, start working on chapter two, literature review. So literature review, the content varies from tutorial group two because of different project title, it varies. So I already plan out the outline for you. So tutorial group two, you are doing about C test. So the chapter two, you are going to perform the teacher review and you need to uh, present all this in 2.1 until 2.6. But for tutorial 
group five. And for tutorial group four, you got one uh, five. And then uh, next one, tutorial group five will be 2.1 until 2.5. Okay. Uh, by the way, can you see my screen? Uh? I don't think so. No. <laughs> Why you never <laughs> tell me? Uh? <laughs> because we I don't let you know. But you, you had the yeah. file, right? Yeah, you yeah. The file, we, right? we, I was looking at the file. You had the file, right? Yeah, yeah. Yeah, because I uploaded, you, you can download the file, I can. Ah. Okay. Uh, everything all the same for chapter. So let's go to literature review from 2.1 until 2.6. So if you ask your team members, they all agree they are not going to change uh, to another group, then the leader can start assigning the tasks. Okay. For example, if you have uh, 12 members, then the group can assign, let's say, okay, two members go and look into 2.1. You go and do literature review. Two members go and look for purpose of CTES. Then two members go and work on component of CTES and so on. You see, you have the equal work. Assign two members. Start. This one is literature review. Then the meaning is the same, but you construct with your own sentences so that you are not copying you know, word for word, verbatim, okay, understand? So if you can, but somehow rather, even though it's your own words or your own construction or sentences, you need to quote references because these are facts that you gather from somewhere, not from yourself, not created by your own, okay? So this is called IP, intellectual property rights. So you have to acknowledge people's work. So in this case, that's why I put here, the note here at the end of this chapter two, okay, all project groups must... Okay, quote references of all the articles you refer to in this chapter 2. And you must provide details of all the references, that, that means who are the authors of the article, the year published, title of article, title of if it's a journal paper, or if it's what website, what is the title of the web page, the page number, etc. under the references section. You see, there's a section called references here. Can you see here? This part here. Okay, so this one here. The detail of this, of all the references this down and under references okay so now uh you can decide now okay if your ask your team member if they already decided not going to change group and they are going to stay in your team you can start assigning this task okay so chapter two for uh tutor group three about the hots so you see your content will be different so you give the definition of higher order thinking sale what is the meaning of hots what are the components in the hots what are the importance of hots and how to assess hot. So under how to assess hot divided into 2.4.1 and 2.4.2. So here the hot assessment will be, because there are many researchers, there are articles talking about how to assess hot. They call it different models or different frameworks or different techniques or different approaches. So you review only those uh, paper published from the year 2000 until 2020. Okay, you explain the different models uh, introduced by who are the researchers, and what are the content, you know, what are this model is about and what are the framework or technique or whatever in this uh, 2.4.1 section. Then the second 2.4.2, you talk about, you can find a lot of these HOTS assessment questions. The HOTS can classify into different categories. Yeah? It can cover critical thinking skill, problem solving skill, creativity, uh, a lot of things. So that's why, that's why I ask you to find 2.2 first, components of HOTS. And from there, you find the different questions that classify under the different component or HOTS. Okay, you tabulate them. And then the next, uh, if you don't understand what is reality or HOTS, then later you can ask me, okay, during the tutorial class. Okay, and for tutorial group four, it's about computer games. So your content will be classification of computer game. What are the top 10 popular games that among the UC students that they like to play? And what's the reason why the UC students, they like to play games, okay? And the 2.4 will be, what are the advantages, disadvantages? That means, if you play game, what, what kind of uh, benefits you're going to gain? Or what kind of things, you know, you, you're going to uh, affect your, you know, the disadvantage of whether you will affect your academic performance, whether you got become a got poor vision, and so on, okay? So you go and list down under uh, advantages, disadvantages, under number 2.4. And last one, you make a summary. What's the finding of this, okay, from all these uh, students playing computer games? And the tutorial group five is about COVID-19 one. So COVID-19 now is a very hot topic. So you can study uh, the background study about COVID-19, when is the, this uh, pandemic started, and then how it uh, started to uh, spread, and how uh, the impact that it has influenced this whole world. Okay, And then what are the statistics, especially the focusing in Malaysia, 
Okay, you can uh, tabulate according to our different phases of our MCO, EMCO, or okay, whatever the different phases, or according to different states and so on. Okay, so that is under number two, two point two. Then next is about uh, what are the preventive measures? Just like we have to wear our face masks, we always have to wash hands, social distancing, and how Malaysian government have been doing what, or the Ministry of Health have been doing what to help to prevent this uh, the spreading of this pandemic. And next, uh, what do you think? The attitudes and awareness of the general public. That's why this survey is trying to find out the general public. Is it many people, you know, they are not wearing masks? Or what is the percentage? How many people they are not wearing? And then what, uh, whether they don't do social distancing, you know, all these things. You see, uh, when you uh, call in different phases and why, if people don't do this, you can see the number will become, uh, the shoot up increase a lot. Okay. Then 2.5, then what is the summary of these findings? Understand? Okay, so you can start with chapter two first, and you ask your team members if there are no more changing group, you can start assigning, you divide the workload equally. Make sure, remember, this is literature review, so you need to jot down the detail of the references, and I'll teach you how to code the references. Okay, any questions so far? Uh, doctor, uh, so under the chapter two, the data and the info right is based on the online shares. It's not based on our questionnaire or survey, right? Uh, this one, yes. This one, this one is based on research paper published and internet. Not, not on the survey yet. The survey one later, you see, that's why the survey later, there's one section where you got data analysis. That one will be later. This one is a review of, about all the literature about your project title first. Okay, understood. Uh, thank you. Uh -huh. Uh, not, not survey form yet, not from your survey form yet. Later, later, you use the survey form, you design a survey form, you collect the data, and then you use SPSS to analyze the data. Uh, that will be the main one of the project, okay? But you need to know some background of the project that you are working on now. Is that clear? So far, so clear. Thank you, doctor. <laughs> okay, okay. Any more questions for any one of you? Any more? Okay, I, I suppose it's uh, we'll using a specific uh, citation format. Ah, uh, yes, yes. Later, I will give you the citation format. All right. You, you just collect collect the reference info, you know, the detail first. Who, who are the authors? If this is a website, and then what is the title of the website? Well, what is the URL and so on? You capture of the complete the source from where is it from? Uh, because there's a different way of how you cite the references. If it is book and there's a different format, I'll give you the guidelines. And then uh, if it is journal paper, articles from journal, how you should quote it. And then from website, how you quote it. And then let's say paper from article from newspaper and so on. they got different format. Okay, I will give you a standard format, which is you use consistent throughout. Uh, okay. yeah, but if question? you tell us the specific name of the citation format, like APA or Harvard, now we could prepare in advance. Oh, okay, can, can. Then uh, you just use APA format. All right, thanks. Mm. Okay, so you, you can, you, you know what is APA format, right? Uh, doctor, so the APA format is which edition? Sixth edition or ninth edition? You take the latest one. Okay, the latest thanks, doctor. Uh -uh. I think you can find from our main library, right? Yes, you may not use the APA format. Sorry, I, I cannot hear you very soft. Uh, the APA format is in the main library. You should have the list down there, somewhere in the library. Uh, you have. I, I remember I saw it from the main library website. Yes. Okay, so you just retrieve from the main library website. So if you if you know, uh, you can get the guidelines, then I don't have to brief you about the APA format. Is that okay now? Okay. I, I cannot hear a lot of noise uh, at the background. <laughs> I'm in the hospital right now. Uh, is it the noise come from your background? Because the, 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 the noise overrule your, your voice. Yeah, probably I'm in the hospital. Uh, he's saying that he's in the hospital right now. Oh, I see. Okay. <laughs> so sorry, you're in the hospital right now. So what is your question? Uh, no, no, no question. I was just saying about the AP 
PA format is in the library. Thank you for the first lecture here. Uh, I, I will create the, the group for tutorial group two and, and, and so on. So if you don't get any uh, the link okay, uh, before that tutorial class, uh, please send an email to inform me. OK, uh, maybe same thing. I will, I'll get the, the code for you and then you just of you can join uh, five different group for to this Friday's uh, tutorial classes. And those who don't have a project team yet, send me an email. Let me compile all the team first and I will see which team still got. We can see that assign that uh, team to you and then I inform you and so that team leader. Is that okay? Okay, uh, okay. so uh, another okay. last uh, last last thing that I want to mention is just to ask about. I have created an Excel file for taking attendance. As I mentioned just now, I use binary number. Only zero and one. Zero represent absent. One represent present. So I already indicated everyone present for today. Of course, I know some absent. So I will get the team leaders first, all your email, and then I'll send an email to all the team leaders. Uh, team leaders, now can you please just check who are the members present today who are the one absent? Just check first. You, you, you take down this info, you keep it first. Later, all team leaders, every week, every tutorial uh, session, also you take attendance for me. I will give you a share this Excel file. Only team going. In this. For your group, okay. Our way is the file click the attendance change one to become zero. So team leader, is that okay? Understand? Understand. Okay, I'll send the email yes. to you. Uh, let me do because I, I need a lot of compilation work to do first. Okay, I, I think if no other question, if got any other question also, you can send me email anytime. Okay, I will try to respond to you as soon as possible. Okay, so that's all for today. And any question from now onwards, send to my email and I will see you on a Friday. So Friday, we will talk about this project, Okay, the project discussion first. Then later, once tutorial one is up, then uh, you people can sign up. Who wants to answer tutorial question? And from answering to your question, you get the 10 marks, uh, some of the marks for the participant of the 10 marks. Okay, but if you answer survey form, I think no, uh, everyone will get full mark of 10 marks. If you participate in all the survey form, there are four sets that you have to participate. And if you answer some question during my class or tutorial, uh, I believe everyone will get the full marks. Okay. Okay, okay. so that's Thank all for it. now. Yes. Okay, I'll see you on Friday. Alright. Okay, okay, see you, doctor. Okay, thank, thank, you, you, doctor. thank 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 you, doctor. Yeah, thank you, doctor. if you want the course got any problem, thank you, doctor. Yeah, Bye -bye. Thank you, doctor. 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 And thank you, thank you for doctor. helping me. Yeah. Thank you, those who are helping me to see the Thank you, Sophia. Okay, I'll see you later. Okay, on Friday. Thank you, doctor.